Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is the talk show with Shirley Knox. I am um, thanking you so much for tuning into my channel. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. On today, I'll be talking about what to do when a relationship is over, what to do when someone passes away in your relationship, and how can you regain strength from that. Number one, what to do when a relationship is over is to stay calm. Everything will be okay. In your midst of time, you see how God blesses you to be able to stay naturally fit for yourself. And you see how God is going to tune you out of those things that makes you feel like you are at your best. A lot of times in a relationship, you feel like you are at your best. And people just don't see you as being guaranteed for anything that is eloped in your own endurance. You have to be able to stay strong in the belief system because you want to be able to see how God is going to clash you into those things. Number two, when someone passes away, it is endearing to that person that you go on with your life and know that God called that person on to heaven. In my time, I see where I was in a relationship and the person had passed away. And the only thing that I can say is I thank God that I had enough strength to be able to go on with all of the things that I had to do still. And I thank God for that strength and class that I did have in order to get everything done. In my midst of time, I see how God blessed me to be able to do those things. And I just became more adorned about what God wanted me to do because of the things that I had experienced in my own personal life. Every day was not perfect. Every moment was not perfect. Every allowance was not perfect. But what I will say is that God made it to where I made it through. And I thank God for giving me everything about my classmates and my wives because of that. And I know that God has given me class. I have gained so much maturity because of those days and I'm just going to continue to keep myself together because God told me don't play the game with her anymore and I did not and I see my roles and I see how my future is going to be because I'm just going to continue to keep myself together and know that the enlightenment is because of that and I want to continue to be that person and to know that God has given me everything I need in this chance and It'd be days when I feel like I just don't want to pick my head up, but I'm going to tell you something. It's been a total of two years since that date, and there was a lot of drama that was going on about his money. But what I will say is that in characters, I shall continue to keep myself in God's flow. And number three is how to be able to keep yourself going out of an admission of a relationship and I just want you to continue to see characters and know that God is your everything and just don't stop praying and continue to keep yourself going in God's note and you'll be okay if you have children just grab your children and hold your children and let God anoint all of your children including yourself and you continue to be that in God's name and I want you to continue to know that God is your strength and your admirably and I want you to continue to know and believe. Thank you so much. God is good.